It's Johnny Jones. I'm here at home. And today I'm going to teach you guys how I get CB radios so cheap on eBay. How you can do it yourself and how to protect yourself from possible scammers. Now, this isn't going to be a funny video like you're used to. This is going to be a very serious video. Actually, yes, it, it is. That's what I just said. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. No. Fine. It is opposite day. Oh, fuck off. Anyways, let's get started. Goddamn notepad. Okay. So, first and foremost, I will start by saying this is much easier to do on the eBay app for your phone or tablet. That's because it'll notify you on specific items that you're looking for. However, harder to record that way, so we're going to do it on the uh, website on my desktop. Um, now, I'm going to assume that you're just searching CB radio for the first time. Now, I've had years and years to, uh, to practice this, but this will work with anything. The, the things I'm going to teach you here will work with anything. CB radio. We're just going to type in CB radio for the first time. And as you can see, we have complete CB kits and just lots and lots of CB radio stuff. Most of it is um, competitively priced new things or refurbished things, right? So what we're going to do is, <clears throat> obviously, it may be obvious to most of you, we'll go down here to see all on this um, on the condition and we will click um, used and parts not working the reason why is because oftentimes people do not even know how to use a CB radio so they will put it under parts not working and of course used is going to be something that does work but you know has isn't in new condition we don't want new you're not going to get anything cheap with it being new okay so if you want a new radio, this is not the method for you, okay? So we're going to go down here and hit apply. Now this will pop up new listings, uh, CB radio antenna switch, uh, realistic Navajo, TRC, uh, you know, stuff like this. So that's good, this is new stuff. Now what we can do, if we wanted to, is we'll go up here and click save this search, right here. Now it will send you email alerts when you have something saved, if it's on your phone, you can customize it and it'll pop up every time new items are posted, it will pop up um, in your eBay app. It won't notify you, it won't do a push notification, but it'll notify you when you go to your eBay app um, that there's a bunch of new listings under this specified term. Now what this is saving is it is not saving just the term CB radio, it's saving the term CB radio uh, and looking specifically for things that are parts, not working, or used. So you can further use this uh, to your advantage. For instance, we can um, remove that and then we'll go to auction. Okay? If we click save this search, <clears throat> it will save only, uh, it will, well, not save, it'll notify you uh, only auction listings that come up, right? Same with buy it now or whatever. So these are all things that you can modify to specify exactly what you're looking for. Now, I'm sure a lot of you uh, know a little bit about this anyway, but if you go to auction, what is the first thing that you usually do when you're looking at auctions? Well, most people click shipping lowest first. That is not a good idea for auction because most of the time, when you have a low price on an auction, it's often new. So instead of going to uh, lowest price when you're looking at auction listings, we go to ending soonest. And this will show you decent deals that you don't have to wait seven days on, or however long it's posted. So you can post it for three, ten, or seven days. Um, so you can look at all the soon to be ending auctions here um, that shipping is outrageous by the way it should not cost that much to ship that now if we're going buy it now which by the way is going to get you the best results um, I know this because I've I, I do this all the time most of my stuff that I buy is honestly buy it now that is the stuff that I get really cheap is buy it now 
So instead of uh, going ending soonest will buy it now or lowest first, we go to newly listed. Why do we go newly listed instead of lowest first? Because lowest first is going to give you stuff like this. CB microphone, just little stuff, right? Okay, you don't want to see the cheapest stuff because it's going to be cheap stuff. What you do is you go newly listed. You go newly listed and you'll have decent deals that are popping up um, that you can grab right then and there on the spot. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Nothing really great right now is popping up here. But as you can see, I have caught uh, sideband radios in, in right, as soon as this pops up, it pops up newly listed sideband radio listed under CB radio. People don't know if it works or anything. They don't know how to hook it up. You know, $25, buy it now. I got it. It's mine. And I did that because I set this up that way. So if you want, I usually put CB radio, <clears throat> all listings, and save the search, all right? But if you want, you can separate this out. If you don't want to do mess with auctions, you can go buy it now, set it to newly listed right here, and save it, and this will um, save this for you. Now, it's always going to show you newly listed I, 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 anyways, but if, you know, if you wanted to, you could go nearest first, and it would show you the nearest first new listings, okay? But this is a really broad term, right? CB radio. Okay, try this one out. This is one of the, uh, the special ones I use to find things that are hard to find. 10 meter. So you type in 10 meter and you click radio communication and um, you don't have to uh, choose CB radios. You can put 10 meter radio in here. Go down here to where we were before and go see all under this condition box. Go to uh, used, parts not working, apply. And the reason why I do this is because a lot of export radios, when people get them who don't know what CB radios are, export radios, uh, they'll post them under what they say, which is the 10 meter amateur radio. Not knowing that these are modified easily into CB radios and that's what most people use them for, right? So this is where you'll find a lot of amps. Perfectly, that's what I was going to talk about next, amps. Now, I'm, I'm not saying go use an amp. I don't prefer amps personally, but I know a lot of people do. If you wanted to find one, you could find one here a lot cheaper than posted under CB radio amp, okay? Because people are look, a lot of people who don't understand things are going 10 meter amp. I don't know if, uh, what that is. Um, so, yeah, right here. This is where you find your amps. And you'll find a lot of really good deals here, too. Um, let's see, what's next? Let's say I wanted to find a specific radio. I do this all the time because I like making videos. My videos aren't just random. I do try to get uh, certain radios to review. So we're going to type in the Motorola MoCat radio. In fact, we won't add radio because radio just gives us more terms, more um, another term that is going to broaden our search, and we don't want that. So we just go Motorola MoCat. Now this will search specifically for Motorola MoCat. We it's searching in every category. That means in the case, which this used to be a big deal on eBay, people would post things in the wrong category, and I could get a really a lot of cheap. Uh, like gaming consoles that were posted in the wrong category. I used to uh, repair them. So it's going to search all categories and specifically for the Motorola MoCat. The reason um, I've done this is because there is a lot that you can see here 40, uh, excuse me, $49, um, 175 85 39 plus 18 shipping untested. So these are interesting radios. People like them. I had one before. For some reason, I didn't make a video on it. Anyways, so I found one of these in a lot, a CB radio lot. And CB radio lots are perfect because a lot of times 
people don't list what is in the lot in the title. They'll just say CB radio lot. So if you type in a lot, right, and it's going to show you all these lots, and then you'll come over here to Consumer Electronics, and you'll go to Radio Communication, and then let's see, where's CB Radio, CB Radio, CB Radio. Okay, so the website's a little more bare bones than the app, so I had to do a little bit of goofy trickery to do this. Anyways, um, I just had to go to the CB Radio um, category and then type in a lot separately. So, the reason why I did that is because I don't want to confine it to CB radio, okay? I know that most of you are probably wondering why in the hell would it matter? Sometimes people post things under lots that aren't necessarily CB, they, they aren't called CB radio lot, okay? There'll be a lot, and I want to look specifically under CB radios. It may be an antenna lot, it may be a connector lots, it could be anything. So, here are the lots. And you can, like I said, save this search at any time. You can go um, make sure you can, you set it down here. And usually you don't have to worry about setting new down here um, because most of the time it's parts not working. I uh, don't really mess with it. Uh, lots is, is something that rarely pops up. You'll see one or two lots a day. So you can save this search, of course, like I would do with any of the things I've just showed you. Shown you. <laughs> um, so here's the deal. We have lots like this, and what does it say? Vintage CB radio lot. That's it. We don't say, they don't say what the radios are. They don't say anything about them other than it's a vintage CB radio lot. So we click it, we check what it, check out what it is. It looks like some um, PC-68s and some, yeah. So these are 29s and PC-76s. Well, just one. Um, right way too much money right but oftentimes you will find rare radios stuffed in these lots see here's um, a lot doesn't say CB radio anywhere in it but it's a microphone and parts lot way too expensive we won't buy that um, here's an example of someone who has way too much shipping on their lot it should never cost you that much Really, honestly, unless you're doing international shipping, it shouldn't cost you that much. Um, but the reason why I brought up the MoCat is because in one of these lots, it's like uh, it's going to be about forty-four dollars altogether. In fact, here it is. Let's see. I think it's somewhere. No, it's not forty-four, but it's about it's about the same. And especially with tax, I don't know why they added so much crap you have to pay. But anyway, so see here. PC-55, um, this, these are a couple of interesting radios. They actually do have like this um, mic booster on them, which really does boost the mic. It isn't just an attenuator, it boosts the mic. So I've had one of those, I showed it off the channel before. Cover 25, and look, a Motorola MoCat, okay? So, $24, $18 shipping, that's uh, 34 plus eight, that's $42, and then it's gonna be about $44. Um, so, I could buy that, sell that MoCat, probably get, if it works, get a good $40 out of it to 50 after profit, because I'm gonna go try to hit the $60 mark, and then the rest of the stuff I can play with, sell whatever I wanted to. Show it off on my channel, that's what I do. So, how do you avoid getting in trouble with stuff like this? I don't want to show anyone's names. I don't want to go to anyone's eBay profiles and show off their username or any of that um, and, and talk crap about them. Um, personally, because I don't think that's um, something I want to be known for doing as a human being and also because I don't have a pure example right now. But just imagine in your mind... Um, Someone who has posted a CB radio. Let's do this. Watch. CB radio untested. This is not the best way to do this, by the way, but I'm just giving an example. I wouldn't suggest doing this. You can just put um, used or parts only, and it'll say untested, I mean. Um, so, okay, so untested. So we'll go here, and we will... Look at this, they'll say it does or does not work. I haven't tested it usually. 
Uh, radio is retired. Uh, I have not tested it. See, this person hasn't tested it. Now, what you would do is, I'm not going to go through this person's stuff. What you would do is, you'd look at that listing, and you'd say, okay, untested. They don't know if it works. Go to their uh, other listings. So click on their profile, go to other listings or other, uh, other items that they're selling. And if they have other CB radios, that's totally fine. It could be they got a huge lot in um, from an estate sale. Look at those other descriptions. If they say working, if they give a specification of the modulation, um, if they give a specification of how many, uh, the output power, talk about mods, if they know, if they seem like they know anything about radio, do not buy that untested radio. They're full of shit. They're trying to screw you over. So, um, and now if they don't have any, um, listings, um, other listings of CB radios, go to their feedback. If they're um, buying a lot of CB radios in their feedback, or if they're selling CB radios, you see it in their feedback, I would avoid it. Because most likely, and I think it's really fucked up to do this to someone, a tech, I wouldn't even call them a tech. They're just um, kind of like, like me, someone who tries to do what they can. They don't have any of the tools or anything. And um, they just sort of try to find things that works and resell it you know or, or fix something here fix something there a few solder this back or add a speaker whatever and they sell it but unlike me these people take it on among themselves to shit you out of money by saying i'm too stupid to know how to turn on radio um and they'll sell you a untested radio that they know damn well has been butchered to hell that they can't fix so just keep that in mind that is a very important thing, and I've run into it. I've ran into it several times. Um, it's not always something you can catch, because um, unfortunately, people do get estate lots, and they sometimes do get really butchered radios, um, and don't know it. But most of the time, if you find something untested, and all the rest of their listings are even if they're CB radios, they're untested, they don't know how to use them. A lot of times, you're not going to get some butchered up shit. You're just going to get an old radio that's past its prime, that needs some caps changed, needs some love. So, just be very careful of that. So, watch technical slang. And, if someone is selling something that is unused, or not used, <laughs> unused, untested, and they take the top off of that radio... That's a big no. That's a red flag. If they don't know how to test this radio out, but they take the top off it, off of it, and take a picture of the board, there's something there. They know a little bit more about radio than they're putting on. At least I have seen that in my personal opinion. And let me see if I can think of anything else. I'll be right back, and let me see if I can think of anything else. All right, I thought of something else. So, do not be afraid of watching things you don't really want to buy. Um, what I mean by that is um, the watch button here. You have a watch button here, you click that, it'll watch it. The reason why I have tons and tons of stuff in my watch list that I'm never going to buy is because I watch the prices. When you're you know, buying a Cobra 29 to resell or something like that, um, there's a lot of liquidity, there's a lot of, uh, there's obvious tons and tons of examples that you can go type in cobra 29 it'll pop up you go to ending soonest you go to auction and once you see that ending soonest auction it's going to show you roughly what people are paying for whatever condition the cobra 29 or whatever you're buying is in but when you have something that is rare and not often sought after or if it is sought after there's not many listings you can watch these so like this one right here I'm watching. Um, I think I'm watching this one as well. So I, I think what I'm trying to explain in my poor god-awful way of doing it is that I watch items, uh, I see how much they sell for, therefore I know what people are willing to give for them, and I know how much profit I could make potentially. Let's see. A lot of, a lot of times people don't know that Galaxy radios um, are the same shit as ranger radios 
So you have, I can type in Ranger Base Station. And it will pop up a Galaxy style radio. Like this is very similar to my Galaxy 2517. This is not a good example considering how much it cost. But you using this can find alternate um, examples. For instance, in this case, the Galaxy 2517 at $750 with 36 shipping, which is actually really nice shipping. That's real shipping. Um, is $750 and the Ranger is uh, $649. Those are both completely just blown out of proportion prices, but you can still see that the Ranger has a fan upgrade, has more bells and whistles. It's the same radio, but people like seeing, oh wait, that's Galaxy. Galaxy is so much better. It's the same damn thing. Wait, I forgot. One thing, one, one last thing that won't take long at all. Sometimes misspellings can help you. My first Galaxy, the Galaxy 2517 that I have on my shelf, cost me $160. And the reason is because someone misspelled Galaxy. Now this is something that eBay um, kind of prevents you from doing now. It usually tries to post it in the right category for you and label it correctly for you. But this occasionally can give you decent results. So I typed in here Conra 29. Um, and you can actually find deals like this. Now, of course, this corrected me for it. You know, this corrected me. But I still have Conra 29 saved in um, my searches. So I typed in CD radio, which is a common uh, mistake that um, younger people, uh, a term that younger people use, because they think of compact disc instead of citizen's band. So they'll say CD radio. So if we use CD radio, as a typo and we save that search it'll pop up every time someone misspells it it'll pop up and as you can see here here is a Cobra 25 LTD CD radio now it has bids so unfortunately this is a bad example but it does happen um, there's some other there's another Cobra 19 DX uh, mobile CD radio not a good price, but still. All right, so I'm ending the video here because the video is getting too long and I don't have a lot of iPhone storage. So unfortunately, I won't be including my music. Uh, sorry about that, Charles. Um, so what I wanted to hammer home was that in order to get things for as cheap as possible on eBay, you have to do one or two things. Either you have to find it before anyone else does, which is why you use the save searches under buy it now, newly listed. It'll come up newly listed anyway. Or you can go the more obscure route to find specific things like the RCI or the Ranger versus the Galaxy. They're the same radio, but a lot of people don't know that. And um, Or using the typos. CD radio. You can find some really good deals there occasionally. Or in my case, the Galaxy. I found a wonderful Galaxy base station because it was spelled wrong. Or, of course, you can always do the what I do. This is a very good one for me. This is I type in a state under radio communication, and then I save that, and everything that comes up under radio communication that has the word estate in it is nine times out of ten CB radios from um, old guys that have died because CB radio was more popular with them than it is the new generation. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. In fact, here we're looking at newest... Um, uh, the newly listed Buy It Nows, you can see here there's a Galaxy DX88HL. Uh, if we go over here, I've already looked it up. Let's see, that's it right there. Um, here's one going for $147.50. Five days left. Okay, that's your deal right there. That's how you get them. Anyways, it's Johnny Jones. I'm here at home. And I'll see you later.